How to create a private channel on Microsoft Teams for iPad. Private channel in Microsoft Teams create focus space for collaboration within your Teams. Only the user of the team who are the owners or members of the private channel can access the channel. Anyone, including guests, can be added as a member of a private channel as long as they are already members of the team. You might want to use a private channel if you want to limit collaboration to those who have a need to know or if you want to facilitate communication between a group of people assigned to a specific project without having to create an additional team to manage. For example, a private channel is useful in these scenarios. A group of people in a team wants a focus space to collaborate without creating a separate team. A subset of people in a team wants a private channel to discuss sensitive information, such as budgets, resourcing, strategic positioning. To create a private channel on iPad, tap on the Teams button from the bottom. Here, tap on the three dots menu near the name of the team. On the menu, tap on Manage Channels. You can only manage channels where you are the owner. Tap on the plus Add Channel button from the top on iPad. Write the name of the channel. Write the description of the channel. On Privacy, you need to select the option Private, only accessible to a specific group of people within the team. The standard version is open to everyone on the team. Now tap on the Back button. Tap on the Done button. On this new page, add the person you wish to have access to this channel. You can add either some team members or add a new email. After this, click on Done. It can take a bit of time for the channel to appear. You see that on the new private channel, you have a lock on it. This means the channel is not available for everyone. On a channel, you can write messages, send attachment files, images, and even videos. Also, you can add different tabs and collaborate on projects. This is how you add channels to your iPad on Microsoft Teams for iPad. If this was useful, please like, share, and subscribe. You can also watch more videos from the right. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.